Hi, my name is Sebastian Matteau and in this video I will show you how you can install the ActPub extension in OpenSesame. And this extension will allow you to participate in the ActPub experiment. And the goal of this experiment is to improve the usability of OpenSesame and at the same time to understand our visual perception a little bit better. Now, let's see how you can install this uh, extension on Windows. Now, so I have OpenSesame installed. You can see it in the start menu. To install the extension, you need to run OpenSesame as administrator. So I right click at OpenSesame and say run as administrator. Yes. Uh, the reason that you need to run it as administrator is that the extension will be installed into the program fo folder uh, uh, which requires administrator rights. Okay, now we have OpenSesame has started. I show the debug window, click on this button. In the debug window, I say import pip. Pip is a Python package for installing Python packages. So it's kind of like the package manager. Uh, and then I type pip dot main open round bracket open square bracket between quotes install quote comma between quotes open sesame hyphen open sesame hyphen extension hyphen act button. close quote close square bracket close round bracket press enter up and there it will install the uh, the open sesame extension now, it's important that you type this exactly as I've typed it here, right? So, pip.main, open round bracket, open square bracket, install between quotes, comma, open sesame hyphen extension hyphen ectpub between quotes, close square bracket, close round bracket. Now, once you've done that, the extension is installed, but to activate the extension, you need to restart open sesame. So, let's hide the debug window, close open sesame. Now I can start OpenSesame again. This time I don't need to start it as administrator. I can just run it straight away. And now when I launch it, you will see, okay, thank you for participating in ActPub. It will give you a little bit of information. And to, uh, to, to give consent and to, um, you need to answer one question that will start the experiment. You have to indicate how experienced you are as a Python program. So, but before I do that, let's take a look at the ethics and privacy side of this um, this uh, this experiment which is very important i think so what this extension will do is uh, count the number of times that you press a particular class of keys within a certain period within a minute in other words for example it will count that you have pressed a letter uh, say 25 times within a minute it doesn't it doesn't remember which letters you press and it doesn't remember the order of the letters just how often you press the letter within a minute and it also remembers a few different classes of uh, uh, letter uh, uh, keys. For example, navigation keys, delete keys, etc. And, and these these measures will allow allow me to assess basically your typing performance while using Open Sesame, without me being able to tell what exactly you're doing with Open Sesame. Right. So I will not know what you're using Open Sesame for. I will not know who you are because all information is an anonymous. But I will have some measure of of typing performance. That's the idea. But your anonymity is guaranteed. Uh, now, to start, let's say, well, I'm a very experienced Python programmer. I think I can say I did, after all, program OpenSesame in Python. So I click here. Up, and now I'm participating in the experiment. You don't need to do anything special you, to participate. Just uh, use OpenSesame as you normally would. Uh, and that's it. Now, the experiment stops uh, either when I from my side, uh, decide to stop the experiment, uh, in which case the extension will become disabled, uh, or if you decide that you no longer want, want to participate yourself. Now, of course, I hope that you will participate for quite a while, but if you don't want to participate anymore, what you can do is simply go to Tools, Plugin and Extension Manager. You will see the ActPub extension, you disable it, and then you close Open Sesame, and the next time that you start Open Sesame, the extension will be disabled. And you can do that at any time. Okay, well, I hope you will participate in this experiment and thank you for your attention.